Hello Taurus and welcome to your past, present and future tarot reading. We are going to look at what was, what currently is and what is most likely to come for you. So we're going to start with an anchor card to see what Spirit wants to talk about and then we'll get into the tarot. What do you want to tell Taurus Spirit? What does Taurus need to know? Past, present and future. Oh, wow. Okay, so you guys are the third sign to get this card. Aquarius. Wait, was it Aquarius? Oh, goodness. Wait, Libra. Libra got this and Pisces got this. Taurus. So if you have a moon or rising in one of those signs, you might want to check out that reading or maybe you're dealing with one of those signs. But... The spider coming out, first and foremost, Taurus, you are protected by the divine, okay? And you've been weaving your web, you've been doing your business, you've been trying to manifest, all right? Um, and what I see is like the progression of like past, present, and future for you in this card of like you beginning to um, build this web, okay? And something has just landed in it or is just about to, okay? And then you have to make a decision about it, which is gonna be what comes in your future, okay? So you've been manifesting here, Taurus, and there is one or more things that are about to catch in your web. So let's pull some tarot. Okay, I was just, as this was jumping, I was like feeling you reap what you sow. Okay, so with the Ten of Pentacles jumping out, there might be multiple options, multiple ways to go about something, multiple choices in relationship, you know, apply it where it fits in your life at present. Um, what's, what you, where you're at right now or what you are just about to come into is being a little bit overwhelmed by choice. Past, Knight of Cups, an idea, an offer, present, Seven of Swords, and near future, the Tower. Ooh, Taurus. Um, there is definitely some shock and awe coming to Taurus in the very near future. Okay, and here we have this Queen of Pentacles represents your energy, whether you're masculine or feminine. The shock comes from what you ultimately decide here, okay? So in the past, Knight of Cups, um, this is where something has come to you. An idea, a desire, I want more in my life. I want more emotional fulfillment, whether it's around relationship romantically, it's around your job, um, the house you live in. Like you have felt a desire of change here in the past. And that's what this web is built um, with, is those desires of, of what you really want. And also with the Ten of Pentacles, I feel there's multiple things for some of you that you, you really um, would like to call into your life. Maybe a good romantic relationship along with some new good friends, um, a romance and a, a new home, okay? Um, a new job and maybe a new home. You know, it's different for all of you, but... Some of you, it's like there's multiple things that you've been trying to manifest for yourself. And now, um, as we come into the present with that Seven of Swords, I think you're going to get more than you asked for, Taurus. Like, um, when you first started this process of what you're trying to pull into your life, um, coming through as the Knight of Cups, it's a very pure, emotionally be emotion based energy okay and now with all these options it's like you know 
First of all, you're not trusting of, of everything that has landed in your web, okay? Some of you, I do see that, like you're a little suspicious. Others of you, and you apply this how it fits. If it doesn't, it doesn't, it's fine. But if it does, own it because the shoe fits, okay? Some of you now are like, hmm, can I have my cake and eat it too? All right, so only apply that message if it truly fits right there. Because I feel for most of you, it's definitely like um, skepticism, suspicion, I don't want to choose the wrong thing, you know, can I trust, etc., etc. And some of you, with all this abundance that has popped into your web, it's more like, hmm, can I have both, you know? Wow. All right, and as we go into the future, there is something very, very unexpected, an unexpected twist of fate with all of this, Taurus. But I feel it is based on the choice that you make, so choose wisely, right? All right, let's pull some more cards about past energy, then we'll um, go into, you know, the present and the future. Yeah, I just see you really um, trying to fill out your options. No malicious intent. I'm just really trying to fill out your options. Okay, so we got five cards that jumped for the past here. Um, High Priestess. Nine of Wands. Five of Wands. Three of Wands. And Judgment. Yeah. Yeah. In the past, you really want to change, okay? And um, we have nothing but wands here and then two major arcana. So again, this could be one specific area of your life, Taurus, or it could entail multiple areas of your life. Spirit's not getting super specific yet, and honestly, it's a general read, right? So um, yeah, you made that decision in your soul, and that's why it feels so pure to me. Like, you made that decision in your soul, I want better. I want more. I want more happiness. I don't want things to feel so hard. I don't want things to be such a struggle. I don't want to feel conflicted. I don't want to be insecure. Like whatever. You put some thought into this and you've really desired some change. Okay. And now judgment with the three of wands. All, what you put out to the universe is now coming back to you and you're going to have a choice, okay? So you see the three people here, and then the three people there, and then the three wants. Like, threes are really sticking out for me in your reading, so um, I like a choice between three things, okay? Or you've asked for this improvement in three areas of your life, all right? So Spirit just confirming that you put it out there. You want more abundance. You want more happiness. You want things to feel a bit easier. You want to feel stable. So now let's come into the present. Yeah. It's time to make the choice, okay? And you are in this energy or you're just moving in this energy. But see with that Seven of Swords, um, some of you, again, it's like, well, can I have both or can I have multiple? And I, it, with the Ace of Wands, it's like, no, you've got to make a choice here. One thing, one direction, one person. Um but, okay, yeah, it's, well, what do I pick? Which one? Which one? Yeah, Taurus, listen. You're either watching this reading because you're already in this, of like, you've got to decide, or you are about to experience this energy of having to make a choice, make an action, decide, and then make the action towards that. So let's pull some more cards. And with the Seven of Swords... Um, it's like you can't bide your time, you can't drag your feet, um, 
you can only have one. Okay, yeah, don't split your energy. It's like you, whatever has landed in your web, and then we go back to the three, you've got to decide, pick one, and go with it. Because if it's like, okay, well, I'm going to kind of put my energy in each one of these baskets, nothing comes of it. Um, you are leaning one particular way, but you're still kind of looking at other options. Again, no. It's like you've got to choose, you've got to decide, make the action towards it, and you are going to be absolutely astonished at what comes from it. All the information needed is, is before you, or will be presented before you, Taurus. And you'll just know, like, there will be a tug in a certain direction for a reason. And it's like, it's almost like you want to take your time a little bit. Like, let me do a little research. Let me fill this out. And it, the energy is just very fast. And that's why Spirit's like, no, don't drag your feet. Don't split your energy. Don't try to entertain multiple things. You've got to just pick one and go with it because you're going to have just an amazing outcome that you don't see. Yeah, let's see, the fool is the epitome of that, of, of having to make a snap decision, okay, right there, taking the leap of faith, taking the chance, you're afraid, though, that you're going to choose wrong, but you're not, Taurus, you're not, you're not going to choose wrong, you're not going to screw up, you're not going to make a mistake, you've got to go, you've got to go, with that one that just pulls you the most, okay? And I see like I don't want to I don't want to make a wrong choice. I don't want to be rash. I don't want to be spontaneous. I want to be methodical. I want to think about this. I want to understand. I want to feel the energy out. And um that's I really feel with the 7 of swords strongly like um it's there's not time for that. It, there's like a time limit on this. And you're just going to know, like, the one that calls you the most. It might not be the one that you want the most. It's like it calls to you. You just know inside. And maybe it's like, well, I kind of, what about this way, spirit? And it's like, no, what is the, the energy, the offer, the opportunity, the person where you just feel like there's more there, even though you can't see it. Like, it just, it calls to you. That's what you want to move towards. You will not make the wrong choice. In fact, I feel if you drag your feet and try to start overanalyzing and all of that, that's when you make the wrong choice. But just going with that gut instinct, like, you know, on paper, this might not look like the best choice, but there's just something I feel this is the way. This is the path. You're right. You're right. All right, let's look at this tower. And you know what, Taurus? Even like, so if you've interviewed for like three jobs and the one that you were really hoping for um, does not call you back. The one that does is truly where your happiness would be. Or it's like if you uh, applied for these three amazing jobs and then there's this other one that comes in that you interview for and they offer you the job on the spot, take it. Don't wait around for anybody else. Okay? Yeah, there's definitely a situation like that 
for some of you where you've done some job interviews, you're waiting back, there's one particular place you're really, really hoping for, and so any of the other interviews you've done since, it's just because you're you're doing what you got to do, right? You got to stay in motion even though you're hoping, and it's like a job interview that you do after that one, they're going to want to hire you on the spot, and there may be hesitation within you because you're waiting on these other jobs, and what I'm getting is you need to take what's offered to you because that is what's better, okay? So for those of you where that applies, okay, so here we are. Look at that. We got the page of cups. Yeah, some of you, you're going to be job interviewing, and they're going to offer you on the spot, and it's going to shock the crap out of you. Yep, but Taurus, that is where your fortune is. Yep, temperance. Mm-hmm. Okay, so any of you... See, spirit is going to make a very strong intuit, intuitive prompting, feeling something, a very strong something inside of you so you know what to choose, okay? You're just, it will be undeniable. And for some of you, again, it's like you're interviewing and they offer you, offer you the job right on the spot. And you're like, whoa, I didn't expect that. Take it, okay? Um, some of you, if you're like looking, uh, you've been looking for houses. If you come across a house where, again, you just feel this very strong pull. And it might not even be, and see what's interesting is that, even though it's a strong pull, I don't think in your mind you're like, oh yeah, this is my perfect house, my perfect job, my perfect car, my perfect relationship match. Like, that's not your initial thought about it, okay? But you feel a very strong pull towards it, and it's undeniable. That is the direction in which you want to go, okay? Because that is the direction where your fortune, your ultimate happiness lies, all right? Um, you know... Uh, when I was looking for a house, um, one that I really wanted um, badly, I didn't get. But the one that just called to me, like literally called to me, I'm not going to get into the story, it's kind of long, but called to me is the where I ended up and is honestly where I am the happiest. But it is a 180 from what I was going for, even where I was trying to live. Okay, so... Go with what pulls you the strongest, Taurus, because that is where your fortune, your happiness, your abundance is going to grow, your stability, longevity, okay? Um, and again, this could be about a job. It could be about looking for a house. It could be about a relationship. It could be about, you know, um, ideas for making money on the side. It's just something is offered to you here or multiple things are offered and you need to act, and you need to act quickly, and the way you make your decision is by what you feel the strongest within, and you're going to be absolutely shocked at what manifests, what unfolds from there in this choice that you've made, okay? You're going to be, like, you're going to look back and say, oh my gosh, like, I totally, this wasn't my first choice, or I wasn't going to go this path, but I just felt spirit, I felt spirit, so I went with it, and thank God, thank my lucky stars that I did. It's the best possible thing for you, Taurus. It truly, truly is. Even though, like, you've got these options here, this one particular thing is really going to stand out, and spirit is the one that's making it stand out so that you choose it because that brings you the most happiness, the most fortune, the most stability in the future, and it feels absolutely magical to you. Yeah, and the Wheel of Fortune, I'm seeing your inner compass. Trust your inner compass. like a diamond in the rough here you are going to be so surprised look at that the emperor two of swords yeah you don't see it and the devil okay 
Listen, Taurus. This decision, again, what it represents to you, what is best for you, you don't see the potential. This is an emperor. Whether a masculine or feminine energy or a situation coming through as the emperor, this is as full grown as it gets. Okay, this is good. You don't see this potential, all right, by this two of swords because there's another one of these options that kind of, this is where, again, like in your mind, you think, oh, that's, that's it. That's the one. That's the one, right? But you don't see, you don't see that, no, that does not have the potential. Even though it's all sparkly, it doesn't have the potential, Okay, so it's like something glitz, glam, sparkly is what is pulling you, like, in your mind, okay? But out of the choice, there's something inside your soul that is pulling you to this other one that's not all glitzy and glamoury and all of that, okay? It's like the glamour, the glitz, like, that's where you're, you're wanting to go, but the best choice for you is the one that you're going to fill in your soul, all right? Because the, the glitzy, glamour one is not what it's uh, being presented to you, and that could play into that seven of swords, okay? What's being presented isn't really the whole picture. A lot's being hidden, all right? And so maybe you want to entertain this option and this option at the same time to see what is what, but I don't feel like you have the time for that, Taurus. It's like you've got to make a, a snap decision here. And the one that pulls you in your soul is the way to go. Because there is so much potential um, to it that you don't see initially. You don't see. You just, you don't. And that's why it feels so magical to you as you get further into the future. Because you're going to think, oh my gosh, I almost didn't choose this. But if it wasn't for that nagging inside my soul, I wouldn't have chose this. And this, this right here is everything. Yeah, see, you hear spirit, you feel spirit, but you're trying to go your direction. And spirit's like, no, 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 come over this way, Taurus. I promise, I promise, promise, promise promise this is what you really want and you're like nah I don't know spirit I'm looking and this over here it seems a little bit more my speed my style what I what I've been trying to manifest for myself here and spirits like yeah but this fizzles out really fast this long term both are good but one is short-lived and one has life to it Mm-hmm. Page of Wands. <laughs> Two of Wands. And Queen of Cups. See? There is something that I feel you really are going for. You're looking at it. It seems like the right way, the best way. But over here, your intuition with this Queen of Cups, your intuition is going to be haunting you. It's going to be all over you. Uh, even though you think you want to go this direction, it's like it feels off because of your soul. And, you know, thinking about going the direction your soul's pulling you, you're like, well, you know, I, it just, it, that does, that way doesn't seem like the way I want. And Spirit's saying, like, you, there's a lot that you don't see just yet. This way, so remember, when we asked, it came out as the emperor, right? Here, if you look at it this way, the two of wands, making a choice. The one that you're really leaning towards, okay, do you see it's just a page? There's not a whole lot to it. It's going to be very short-lived. But this choice, the one that you're kind of not wanting to go towards, that has the, the potential everything that you want okay long term again whether this is a job so if this is a job your happiness will be very very short-lived once you are there for like two days two weeks two months 
you're going to be like, damn, this was not, not the way I wanted to go. Like, this is not what I wanted. Okay? If this is about a house situation where you've put in two offers and um, they've both accepted, okay? Um, honestly, I feel like in this situation, the one that's more expensive is the way you should go. The one that's cheaper, I don't know. It's like you're going to have to put more money into it ultimately and it, it's like um also with this page of wands like there will be some neighbors or neighbor kids that you're not really a fan of okay um also i'm getting if like uh for a house if it's in a, like an area that's like a younger demographic you're not going to be as happy with that as you think you want to go into like an older demographic Okay, um, also, okay, with this choice, um, over here, it's like somebody may be very firm, like you're, you're putting in an offer, but they're very firm in what they'll accept and they refuse to budge. And this one right here is like willing to walk on water for you. Again, it's like, nope, go this route. There's reason why this person won't budge. They're offering you something, a very solid home, a very solid investment, whereas this option, not so much, okay? Um, so it's like something looks really good on paper, and that's the way you want to go. And this other way, um, it's like more expensive or um, in an older neighborhood. Like this could be newer neighborhood, older neighborhood. Go t for the older neighborhood, all right? Um and so if they both accept your offer, you've got to make a very quick decision. And that's where Spirit is saying the more expensive one, the stubborn seller, um, the older neighborhood. Okay, because this is actually value. Where is this? Uh-uh. This is just a page. This energy is going to fizzle out. This is a minor arcana page. This is a major arcana emperor. And I don't, and like they may look the same on the surface, but this, this. Um, same with a car. I would go, if you're buying a car, buy it from an older person. Okay, I feel somebody 40s, 50s, 60s, maybe even 70s, opposed to a younger person selling their vehicle. Okay, the older person, um, like you're, you get what you, you're getting what you pay for. There's nothing hidden, there's no gimmicks. The younger person trying to sell to you, mm mm. There's something hidden there. Um, also, if you're trying to decide if you want to buy a new car over a used car, Spirit's saying go the used route, go the used route. Relationship. Um, this would definitely be where potentially this person may be younger very active, more attractive, you know, a lot of fun. Okay, but there's no stability in this person. They're very immature and they're going to run when things get tough. This person over here um, could be older than you, um, could be very well established in their career. Um, they could have already been married, had some kids, are divorced. All right, they may have some baggage that you're like, mm, I don't know if I want to deal with that, but again, this energy, the more established, older person can give you the life that you really, truly desire, opposed to this energy. Okay, so those are just all the different scenarios I wanted to run through, um, since I know you all are resonating differently. But yeah, it's like, Taurus, you have manifested, regardless of what this is about. You have options in your web. At least two, it could be against, like, up to three and the way you're currently leaning and looking at is more, and I say ego because that's like, we all, it, like our desires, our wants, ego, right? Um, it's like very stimulating to your ego. It looks like this is the way, you know, I, this, it checks all these boxes. But there's something in your soul that keeps wanting to pull you back this way, even though this kind of maybe doesn't seem like it checks all the boxes, 
that your soul won't let you let this go. And it's because the choice, your, your true happiness is this direction right here. Even though you don't see it in this moment. But you are going to look back and be so grateful that you went with that. And just even though I'm saying all this to you're not going to make the wrong choice for you. You're so, this, it's like it will just be too strong. And so when you're experiencing that, you're going to be like, okay, all right, all right, spirit, I hear you, I hear you. And again, if you're interviewing for a job that seems pretty cool, but you're trying to hold out, waiting on a couple others to get back to you, mm -mm, take the job that's offered to you on the spot. Spirit, heavenly assistance from your angels and guides. See, Taurus, they're just going to be, you're going to know which direction, air. Work with the element of air to cut through to the core of a situation and see the truth. Yes, what's just looking glamorous and what is truly stable. And triple moon, embracing all aspects of yourself, the divine and the earthly. Okay, so your spirit guides. They're helping you with this, and that's how I know you're not going to make the wrong choice here. The choice through air, which the choice you make, triple moon, is going to multiply and expand into much, much more than what you see right now in this moment. And it's beautiful, and it's truly where your fortune lies, okay? Your abundance, your happiness. So I hope that this has helped, Taurus. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.